Hey there, I'm Ari from Tech Buyers Guru. Happy holidays to you all. I wanted to let you know before you go off to your various places all over the globe that I am getting set to go to CES 2020 in Las Vegas. I've got my agenda printed out in front of me and I just wanted to tell you all the companies I'm going to be meeting with so you can get your questions posted down below and then I can get you answers straight from the horse's mouth as they say. First up on Monday, I'm going to be attending the Corsair press conference. Corsair needs no introduction to PC enthusiasts. Of course, they are the biggest manufacturer of RAM, cases, coolers, power supplies, the works. They also have some of the best peripherals. They're a huge player. Without Corsair, we'd be, we wouldn't be here doing this kind of stuff. I'm excited to attend their press conference and then later their booth uh, on Monday the 6th. Then I'll be visiting with Silverstone. Silverstone almost uh, called off their visit to CS this year. Uh, first time since 2004 because frankly they felt the PC industry was getting a short shrift from CES. Uh, even Intel is off the main show floor this year. It's just not the focus of CES anymore but I convinced Silverstone to attend so I will be one of the very first people to visit their booth on Monday. Um, they're actually off-site this year as om are almost all of the PC component manufacturers this year so that's a trend to watch. They're not actually on the show floor because it's just not where CES wants to devote its attention and that's a shame. Um, after checking out Silverstone, I will be visiting Cooler Master, a huge player in the PC industry. Cases, coolers, power supplies, accessories, the works, they make great, great gear. Particularly, I love their high airflow cases. They still make the best high airflow cases on the market. Uh, next up, Zotac, a really premium manufacturer of pre-built systems. They're really better than anyone else out there because you can trust them. They make their own video cards and motherboards unlike any other manufacturer out there of pre-built PCs. Uh, they specialize in small form factor systems. I really love their pre-built systems. So you'll be seeing their latest wares and of course their latest GeForce cards because they are a huge NVIDIA board partner. Next up, Patriot Viper, which is a huge manufacturer of memory, solid state drives, and accessories. Uh, Patriot's been around a really long time in the industry. They're right up there with Corsair in terms of the, uh, uh, the enthusiast level RAM products they sell. Then I'll be visiting with Be Quiet, the German-based manufacturer of high-end cases, coolers, and power supplies. Of course, their specialty is quiet computing, so it'll be exciting to see what new cases they have in store and perhaps coolers and power supplies as well. Then I will be uh, visiting Corsair again to check out their booth. Uh, I will first, their press conference is going to handle or cover whatever their latest new products are, and then I'll be diving deep at their booth to get the scoop on stuff that they don't cover in the press conference. Uh, later that evening, I'll actually be going to something called Pepcom's, uh, Di Pepcom's Digital Experience, where a lot of smaller manufacturers show off their gear, a lot of the manufacturers that don't want to have space on the CES show floor, and a lot of smart home manufacturers. So that's actually where I'm going to get a lot of smart home coverage in uh, companies like Ring, uh, Quickset, uh, Arlo, a lot of manufacturers of smart home cameras. Uh, they're all going to be there and I'm going to be checking them out on Monday night. And then Tuesday morning, we've got uh, Fantex early in the morning. I'm going to be their first, the first person at their booth, actually, on, at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, Fantex is a great manufacturer of high-end cases. I love their cases. Really always premium material, premium packaging, premium instructions, uh, the manual accessories, everything that works. I love what Fantex does with its cases. Then, followed up, uh, I'll be following them up with Thermaltake, another huge, huge name in the PC industry. Courses, of course, cases, coolers, power supplies, they now make RAM as well, and they're a specialist in liquid cooling. Um, so Thermaltake is, of course, an important one to check out. Then, I hope to be visiting Logitech. They haven't gotten back to me. They're all on vacation. That's a shame. I've visited Logitech the past four years at CS, so I will make my way in there one way or another. Then we've got Cherry, the manufacturer of those premium switches and keyboards. Cherry's got a big announcement coming, so stay tuned for that. A couple years ago, they debuted their low-profile switches, were, which were really groundbreaking and have led every other company to come out with low-profile switches. Let's see what Cherry has up its sleeve this year. Then I'll be vis visiting with Kingston and HyperX. Kingston is a major RAM manufacturer, just like Corsair and Patriot. Of course, they split off um, with their subsidiary HyperX, which is now the biggest manufacturer of gaming headsets in the world. That's mind-blowing. Um, I love their Cloud Flight, for instance, and um, they also have their Cloud Stinger, which is the best low-cost headset on the market. They've got some brand new stuff coming out. I actually know what it is, but I can't tell you yet because I'm under embargo. They do have some new headsets, uh, keyboards, and mice coming out. Then I will be 
uh, visiting AMD. I'll be just swinging by the AMD booth later that night. I'm actually going to go to their press reception. Of course, they also have a press conference. You'll hear all about some new products from AMD. I think AMD is going to be the most important uh, manufacturer to have a booth at CES this year. Forget about Intel. I, I really don't think Intel is going to say anything about PC stuff at all. They've actually emailed me and said they're going to be looking at, they're going to be showcasing like their mobile I subsidiary, their um, self-driving tech, their AI tech. They're not going to say anything about PC because, frankly, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Sorry. You want to hear from Intel PC? You won't hear anything about them. Um, I, I, I'm not actually even visiting Intel this year. Uh, then I'm going to be switching over to the Smart Home Pavilion. So I'll be visiting with companies like, again, Quickset, Ring, a number of smaller manufacturers. There's a lot of manufacturers actually in the plumbing industry that are there, like Toto and Kohler and Delta. They have some smart toilets, smart bathtubs. I'm not so much into that, but I'm going to check it out just to see if it's worth uh, worth uh, covering on the channel. If there's a smart home industry or a smart home company you're interested in, post it down below because practically all of them are going to be there, including Amazon, of course. Don't forget about Amazon and their Echo ecosystem. They're a huge player. Then I will be taking the night off, hitting some receptions, having a good time. That's what CES is about. Um, and then on Wednesday the 8th, my last day there, I'm going to be going down the line over at the convention center with some big names, Samsung, LG. Um, I'm also going to be uh, checking out some other companies like Gigabyte, Inwin, Razer, uh, a number of companies that do headsets, speakers, in the uh, kind of on the audio side more than on the PC side. I should mention I have a private meeting with Samsung in their innovation room. They only open that up to a very select core of media representatives and they're going to be showing off the stuff that they don't want people to see on the show floor and the reason they do this if you really want to know is because they've got a huge huge rivalry with lg and both companies have accused each other of spying on their booths at ces in past years it's embarrassing it really is but these guys are like you know stepbrothers going at each other's throats uh at ces like trying to figure out like reverse engineer their stuff like off the show floor like I, I believe it was uh, LG that told me Samsung was taking high resolution photos or maybe it was vice versa, but they both think that the other is spying on them. It's really, really funny. Anyway, Samsung has a private innovation room because they don't want LG to find out what they're going to release. It's a funny rivalry, but it's good for, you know, it's really good for enthusiasts in the home theater market. This is why we're getting better and better TVs every year. It's a really exciting time to be in the TV industry. And it's Samsung and LG that are driving that. It's, it's absolutely that rivalry that drives TVs, uh, you know, higher, higher heights every, every year. So that pretty much wraps up what I'm going to be covering at CS. It's, it's really kind of a nonstop event. And I will try to, like, at the end of each night, like late at night, if I'm still able to, I will post videos each night, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday. And then following that, um, when I get back, the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, you'll see more and more coverage coming out because I will probably have, I don't know, at least two dozen videos to share with you guys uh, about uh, what I've seen on the show floor um, because there's a lot, a lot to cover. And, and I don't even know all the stuff I've seen until I look back at my videos. I mean, last year I'm like, wow, this looks really cool. I didn't even realize how look good this looked until I got it. I looked at the video after the fact. So it actually takes me a while to go through all the stuff I cover and then bring it back to you. So again, please leave your questions below. That's gonna guide me during my time at CS so I, I know what to ask these manufacturers. I know what the enthusiasts out there wanna know. This is the best time to get those questions answered. So please do post them down below. If you like this video, if you wanna support me going to CS, please do like and subscribe. Um, that's a big help to me so I know that people are watching and eager to see what I find out at the show. And again, I'm Ari from Tech Buyers Guru. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next year.